Hey guys, how's it going? So this is going to be my initial review of my new Pro 2A Tactical AR-15. And this is in 45 ACP. I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So Pro 2A Tactical, they're kind of a newer company to the game and maybe some of you haven't heard of them before. I recently found out about this company and boy am I glad that I have. They literally have probably the widest selection of ARs and rifle, pistol, calibers, different configurations, accessories, parts, like it's literally crazy. Now while I can't promote any gun makers here and I'm certainly not doing that per YouTube's guidelines, I'm going to have a companion post over on Locals where I can tell you guys a lot more so check the pinned comment for the link to that. It's totally free guys but you'll find out some more cool information about this over there. So. Like I said, AR-45. This is the first time I've had an AR in 45 ACP, and I think this is going to be pretty cool, especially out of this 16 and a half inch barrel. This is going to be quite the thumper, and everybody's doing 5.56 and 9 millimeter lately. And while I love those calibers, the good old fashioned 45 ACP. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if there's any 45 fans out there in the comments and chime in and let me know what you guys think. So Pro 2A Tactical, they're located down in Georgia. This is a small business, which I really like. And these are all handmade in the United States, in Georgia. And every single component on all of their firearms are made in the USA, which I think is totally awesome. Like you're not going to find a cheap Chinese handguard on this or trigger components, which believe it or not, are in a lot of rifles, whether you know it or not. So... What do we have here? Well, this is a carbine. Like they said, they also have these and pistols and like more calibers than I could possibly name here in both varieties. But this is a carbine chambered in 45 ACP. So we'll start off here with the lower receiver. This is Billet, and we can see Pro 2A Tacticals logo right there. Standard selector, standard bolt catch release, just like. You're familiar with with any other type of AR coming around to this side we're gonna see our mag eject and yes this does take Glock mags 45 ACP in this case this is a 26 round mag for the Glock 21 etc so Glock mag capability totally awesome let's take a look at the upper here so this being a pistol caliber carbine, it's going to feature a straight blowback. So we don't have any type of hole drilled in the barrel. There's no gas tube that's impinging gas upon the bolt carrier. Instead, with this relying on just the straight blowback from the 45 ACP cartridge, it's going to include what you might want to call a BCG, but really it's a big monolithic bolt that encompasses both. And we're going to have a heavy buffer weight and spring appropriate to hold back the recoil and to delay the blowback enough for the barrel to build up pressure, send that bullet, the projectile out of the barrel, and then come back, reciprocate, load the next cartridge until you're done firing, right? So that's just a little bit about how most pistol caliber AR style carbines work. So let's take a look at the upper here which is very nice. I like the little styling on here. This is a very attractive looking rifle, in my opinion. Now this features a nice long 16 inch M-lock, lightweight aluminum handguard. And this is made by Bowden, which is another United States company. This features a 16 and a half inch Hitman Industries barrel, which that's another company that has a very good reputation in barrel making here in the United States. This is nitride treated, one in 16, twist rate and we can see the made in the USA rate a made in the USA right there which is awesome we can see this one has a standard a2 style flash hider as it came configured with with 5 8 by 24 threads there so that's nice lots of rail space across the top and I've added this swamp fox king slayer to the top which I'm going to try out, and by the way, I'm going to be going out to the range and shooting this like an hour after I'm done recording here, so you guys will see a follow-up range review very soon. The weather's been so crappy here in Michigan, but really, really looking forward to getting this out to the range and showing you guys how it performs. We have a SOT mod, standard type, adjustable, 
stock, which is really nice. Lots of different factory features and options with these. Check that locals post. I'll be able to get a little more in depth on that. The weight is not bad at all, actually. I mean, this is a 45. It has to have a heavy buffer, heavy bolt, which is all good to tame that recoil on the straight blowback. Let's take a look at this trigger real quick. Like I said, this is their Patriot model, which they have a couple of models generally. They have their Patriot and their Valiant. This being, I guess they would call it more of their budget line, but let me tell you what. The price is great, like lots and lots of value in this rifle, but I almost hate calling it a budget because this is made with very high quality components, all USA, and I'm very, very impressed with the fit and finish. So I'd almost rather call it like high value than I would budget because, man, I've seen budget ARs before that are just cheap and I do not get the impression of this rifle that it's a cheap rifle, but yeah, when you check that locals post, you're going to be shocked. It's like, wow, this is crazy. Like I said, small business down in Georgia, and somehow they're able to put these packages together. Now, their Valiant is their completely top shelf, and wait till you check the link for that. They like literally top shelf components, and it's even a substantial step up from this. But I decided to go with the Patriot because I thought that might be in more people's budget, and just kind of wanted to start off with this and I have a feeling I'll be shopping there quite frequently to be honest with you guys so the trigger here we're basically looking at kind of like an enhanced and polished trigger group so they take a regular mil spec trigger group polish it up again again I didn't do any modifications at all to this this is done at the factory there and the way it came to me right at their shop where they make these so let's check this out real quick now, one more thing I want to show you before I do. This Glock mag is not holding the bolt back. However, you can come over here on this side and pull the bolt to the rear, actuate that catch, just like you would on a standard AR. It's going to hold the bolt to the rear. And you can see that this upper actually features a special enlarged ejection port for the pistol caliber carbine so this is not just a standard ar-15 ejection point port look how wide that is so this is a special made mil spec standard but specially made for pistol caliber carbines so now that we've showed you that i'm just going to hit the button here over on the left right there just like a normal ar go into battery the trigger has been reset so let me get this stock here how i want it nice nice it's not a hair trigger but very very clean predictable break nice reset let me see if i can show this for you guys real quick here and i appreciate that on a firearm like this look it's 45 acp is the 16 and a half inch barrel gonna add velocity to it over a standard small handheld pistol of course can i extend my range with this yes but let's face it i'm not going to be taking like 500 meter precision shots with a pistol caliber carbine you might and if you want to do your thing but not me i would want this for more of a pdw style and i don't want the trigger to be a hair trigger but what i am going to see is if it has any creep take up or sponginess and that's how i'm going to judge whether this is a good trigger for my application all right i'm just testing it no creep no take up and it just literally breaks let's check the reset here so no sponginess, no creep. Feeling pretty good. Resets right there. It's short, it's crisp, you can hear it. And there you go. So, like I said, I'm really, really glad I found out about this company. And I'm really excited to introduce them to you guys. Because I know a lot of you guys are on a budget. And like I said, lots and lots of value in this rifle. And my overall impressions very nice fit and finish we're just going to take another quick look at this right here and then i'm going to get out to the range and do a follow-up and let you guys know what my shooting impressions are but all of the colors are very nice we can see the lower there which i think is pretty stylish actually i love the look of that upper the valiant upper looks even cooler trust me but this is nice this is nice for their basic entry level coming up here to the handguard everything matches nicely of course this is you know t6061 here 
on the handguards in T70, 75 aluminum on the upper, hard coat anodized, all of that kind of stuff to industry standard. But very, very nice looking rifle. It's lightweight where it needs to be. It's heavy duty where it needs to be, which is cool. Take a look at it over here. Let me know what you guys think. Are you familiar with Pro 2A Tactical? Like I said, there's just stuff we can't show on here, so I'm going to have a bonus over on Locals, but let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the idea of a 45 ACP carbine? I had heard about this company and definitely wanted to review one of their products, and I thought, eh, I'm just going to switch it up. Try to have some fun here. Now, they don't have them right now because there's still lots of shortages in the supply chain industry, but think about this. This is going to be pretty cool. I don't have any kind of date or anything, guys, but they are going to be working on getting in some 10 millimeter barrels. And if you know anything about Glocks, you know that the magazine well that's appropriate for 45 is also appropriate for 10 millimeter, if you know what I'm saying. So we could have some future fun with all of that. Yeah, I'm really liking this rifle so far upon initial impressions. You guys know how I like to do it. I like to do the initial review here in the shop in a control environment. And then I'm definitely going to be taking this out here very soon to take the first shots and come back and let you guys know what I think. This reticle, by the way, on this little Kingslayer is very nice. Very nice. This is something you guys have been recommending to me for a while. And yeah, I think this is going to be a nice little you know, pair here for a while. I'm going to run this King Slayer and then I'll be able to give you guys some, some reviews on the Swamp Fox as well. So Pro 2A Tactical, I'm definitely excited to take this out and share it with you guys. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good one.